Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Well, today, I don't want to talk about a disease. I don't want to talk about anything to do with the human body or anatomy. Today, I want to talk about a simple vegetable which needs to get the attention that it's not been getting over the last couple of years. <clears throat> Our markets back home are flooded with all the exotic fruits and all the exotic vegetables that it's pushed our basic staple vegetables that grow, grow in certain regions of India at certain times of the year. It's pushed it completely out of the market. So I'm talking about the drumstick tree and I'm talking about the drumstick and I'm talking about the leaves, both which have tremendous health benefits and therapeutic properties. Today, we can easily get to drumstick because a lot of us use the drumstick in certain curries and soups and sambars and a lot of South Indian food. In fact, a lot of people up in North India are also using the drumstick in a lot of their preparations today because of the therapeutic value and the immense health benefits. We all know that Moringa has now become a superfood. I don't like this term superfood because they take our normal foods which have always existed and by terming it as a superfood, it suddenly becomes 10 times more expensive. And that's a huge problem because when you look at Moringa leaves, they're actually very, very inexpensive and cheap. If you go into the villages, they'll give you sacks of these leaves absolutely free of cost because they grow abundantly. So I'm afraid to use terms like superfoods and talk highly about these things because someone's going to label it as a superfood and then all of a sudden, three months down the line, we're going to be paying a lot of money for these basic inexpensive foods that exist abundantly across our country. So now the drumstick is extremely, extremely healthy. In fact, the whole tree has functions, right? From the seeds, to the pods, to the flowers, to the leaves, all have medicinal properties. Yes, people in the villages use the leaves, the fresh Moringa leaves or the fresh drumstick leaves and the flowers. These are little white flowers. And if you've ever tasted a vegetable preparation which is made out of the leaves with a little bit of spices and the flowers, it's a beautiful, beautiful taste. And we're going to try to get all of these back into our Indian market because if you try to buy Moringa leaves, fresh leaves, you can buy all the dried Moringa powder. They're superfoods, like I said, it's available, it's expensive, all of that stuff. But if you get the fresh leaves, this is such an important vegetable to have in your family, especially for your kids. Immune booster, when you think Moringa leaves, think immunity. It boosts your immunity, so things like a common cold, a common cough, virals, all of that stuff, and even temperature. When children in the village have high temperature, they make these Moringa vegetables made out of the fresh leaves that can actually bring down your temperature. Why? Because it's a great immunity booster. But today, in most, in most places, you won't, find, you, you won't find the Moringa leaves in the fresh form available. So let's break it down and see why it's so good for us. Number one, Digestive health. Moringa, the drumsticks, are rich in B vitamins. Now we know B vitamins is a class of several vitamins together. And we know that B vitamins is necessary to help our digestive system break down food. Anything that helps our system break down food takes away indigestion, unnecessary acidity, it puts unnes it, it takes away unnecessary, you know, load on our digestive system and our gut. So the function of B vitamins is to help you break down food, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats into the human body. So when we eat all these deficient diets or we get on these fat diets that limit us from vegetables and fruits that contain B vitamins that can break down food, the number one process of the human body is digestion. If you have a good digestive health, you have good immunity. If you have a poor digestive system, you have innumerable problems from low immunity to autoimmune disorders to inflammation in your system, bad hair, bad skin, inability to lose weight. Everything starts off from your core, which is your digestive system, which is why we always need to make sure that our lifestyle focuses around a good digestive system. It's also rich in fiber and we all know that we need the right amount of fiber because constipation plagues our country, followed by acidity, followed by bloating and floated, uh, followed by, by indigestion. So when you look at the, the, at the health statistics of a country, you can always find a commonality leading to your digestive system. And if these are all the problems we have in our country, there's no, there's no wonder why we have so much of sickness right now. From cancers to diabetes to heart disease, everything is related to inflammation. Everything has a beginning and end in your gut and your digestive system. So again, rich in B vitamins, B vitamins helps you with digestion. You have a clean digestive system. You have great health. You can heal. You can prevent. When it comes to your bones, everyone is still chasing calcium supplements. Now, I'm not saying get off your calcium supplement. If you have a deficiency, you have to take it. 
when people people have this mindset that when they're hitting menopause they need to double their doses of calcium that may be right for you according to what your doctors prescribe you if it's needed but we need to break away from that mindset and understand that normal foods give us sufficient calcium for bone health you can go on popping as much of calcium as you want but if your body is acidic you are leaching calcium and eventually d3 from your bones and that's why you have bone problems that's why you have lesser bone density that's why you have arthritis that's why you have osteoporosis and all of that stuff i keep saying this and i'll say it again the us and india are the highest consumers of dairy and calcium supplements and we have the highest amount of osteoporosis it doesn't match at all if you're trying to prevent to to build great bone health and if you're trying to take care of your bones you need to have a balanced diet you need to have weight bearing exercises you need to have a clean digestive system where you don't have constant acidity and you need to look after your stress levels and your sleep so now drumsticks and moringa is rich in calcium and iron this helps you build great bone health but another fantastic function of drumsticks it is it also helps you to prevent bone loss so it improves your bone density so there's one way of increasing your bone density and then there's one way of looking at things that basically cause loss of bone density so drumsticks is a super source of calcium and iron for you drumstick purifying the blood again we know most diseases happen when we have a toxic overload in our system our blood is impure which makes our liver our kidneys all of our functions and vital organs work harder and the more we help our body to reduce this toxic overload the better our health is so things that purify blood are things like neem are things like drumsticks and things like moringa it is highly anti-inflammatory and a great source of vitamin c which is which which is why it should find its place in all of your diets especially your children it's great for your respiratory health because it can basically inhibit allergens in your lungs from actually becoming an infection or a problem for you you see we all breed in allergens but then we have something called immunity and a strong immune function that can protect these allergens from expressing themselves or manifesting themselves into an allergy so moringa and drumstick is great for your respiratory health so people who have lung fibrosis people who have lung issues people who have lung cancers anything to do with your respiratory people who live in polluted cities and constantly have this toxic overload in their lungs moringa drumstick the drumstick vegetable is fantastic for your lung health it's a great immune booster because of the amount of vitamin c that it has that it has and contains it's antimicrobial it's great for your common colds coughs and fevers like i said now when when you when you take out the drumstick you have little seeds and they're called pods now you can collect these pods like you have a cup of them or you have half a cup you can puree them in and add them into your lentils your dal preparations you know there are ways you can disguise it to get into get it into your child's diet if your children are fussy you know we know there are south indian preparations like sambar and all of these things where it's naturally occurring a lot of curries also have these in so you can figure out how you want to use drumsticks in your preparations i know a couple of people who even take out the pods from the drumstick and they steam them and they add them as garnishes to salads and different preparations some people even make pickles out of them and chutneys out of them so you see uh if you really apply your mind there are many many tasty variations and ways that you can use the drumstick to add that kind of health into your life it's simple things like this this is why food is called food is called medicine it doesn't mean that you replace all your allopathy with this but you need to understand the therapeutic value and the amount of medicinal facts that a lot of foods a lot of spices contain and when these foods work as synergy in the human body they combine to boost our immunity reduce our inflammation and that's why we say food can behave like meditate like not like meditation like medication it food can behave like medicine when it is put into your system with the right lifestyle changes now sitting and chewing on drumsticks all through the day and having moringa tea all through the day is not going to give you great health if you don't have the right amount of activity you don't have the right quality of sleep and you're not taking control of your stress levels prevention and healing and holistic health is about making everything work in synergy synergy with one another which is your nutrition in balance your your nutrition in balance your inflammation your exercise and your stress levels that's how it works have a great day everyone until next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep